if I can log on here on my phone to this live stream. Say hello to everybody. Give a few minutes for people to, to, to gather as we prepare our hearts to worship tonight. Say hello to me on Facebook here, so I know you're here. free to share um, this service. Hit the share button while we're waiting. I see a hello. There's Sue. Hey, Tony. Nancy, you're watching. I see that. <laughs> Absolutely thrilled uh, to uh, to be here with you all uh, tonight as we we just gather to uh, to do something that we're not used to doing, and, and that's to lament and, and and to pray and to worship. I um I'm just like you trying to to process everything that's uh, been happening and in our world and in our lives uh, during this pandemic. And, uh, you know, for me, it all started uh, back probably a couple months ago. Our church is reading through the Bible together uh, chronologically. And, and Job, uh, the book of Job was at the beginning uh, of, of that reading. And, and as I was reading and listening to, to Job, I just felt such a, a connection with, with God's word. And, uh, and it was the parts where, you know, there's just so much lamenting. Um, if you know the story of Job and, and as he processes that with his friends and, and with God, I just found my heart uh, just resonating uh, with where he is at. And I just thought that was really weird. And and as we've moved into this, uh, this, this plague uh, that we're going through and the disruption in our lives, um, I've, I've just felt that God's been, he's been teaching me um, to, to have a softer heart and to, to be more empathetic towards, uh, towards people. So I, I'm very disqualified. Uh, to uh, to lead you tonight and lament and um, but maybe maybe the Lord will uh, will work through even uh, somebody uh, like me uh, to help us all um, to lament you know just means to to feel sad and to to express that uh, to God and to and to just questions that, that we go through our minds that we often just sort of push to the side. Uh, God invites us to bring those questions uh, to him. And as, as you hear God's word tonight, we'll be focusing on some of the Psalms and the, they're called Psalms, Psalms of Lament. And, and there you'll see just, I mean, if you really just slow down and digest what God's word says through these psalms it's it's just amazing the heartache 
and the honesty that's that's there and I don't know about you but I just often ignore that uh, in my own heart and in my life and I just push it to the side and I I numb myself by you know watching Netflix or you know playing a game on my phone or uh, just trying to just get away from reality and numb my mind and and God invites us to to certainly not do that but to turn to him and uh, to just tell him tell him what he already knows uh, how we feel and the questions that we have and the, the hurt and the sadness that that's just going on inside of us because because we live in a fallen world and and there's there's pain and there's death and there's plagues and there's viruses and and that's our existence. So uh, a couple things I, I've seen uh, posted on my Facebook page, you can go and check them out if you'd like, if you haven't already, is uh, one friend of mine uh, who's a counselor uh, just shared some things about grief and uh, the phrase, uh, feel it and name it. I just thought it was just really helpful. And I'd encourage you tonight uh, to to be open enough to, to be able to share some of those things that you're feeling uh, inside. You can uh, post in the comments as we go through our worship and uh, just to name those things. Name, name what you're feeling. Um, and uh, just take this opportunity to, to do what John Bunyan says uh, in Pilgrim's Progress. I've included that uh, in the bulletin as well. Uh, he said in Pilgrim's Progress, don't wipe away your tears. Look through them. They will give you clarity. Don't wipe away your tears. Look through them. They will give you clarity. So maybe the night the Lord will grip our hearts and give us the gift of, of tears because our God is lamenting right now. He's lamenting uh, with all the hurt and the pain that's happening in our world. And so we're going to join him uh, in his lament uh, as we worship and pray uh, together. So let's start and sing Defender.
thank you for for everything that that you're posting. I, I know that this is is something just radically different than what we're used to doing, um, and, and that is just just putting out there uh, our fears, our hurts, our, our concerns. Um, and Jr., I, I see that you're you're with us. And your father just just passed away. Um, uh, I'm I'm so sorry uh, about that, and I'm just so thankful that you're you're here with us uh, tonight. I, I had a dear friend um, who was a mentor of mine, Tim Russell. Uh, he's a pastor. I originally met him at at Geneva. Uh, he was the chaplain. I was there as a student, and uh, he was just one of the just the best people that I probably have ever known in my entire life. And um, and he died uh, this week uh, from from uh, the virus and was in the hospital and leaves his wife Kathy and just heartbroken over that. And just a couple hours ago, I got a text from a friend. Uh, JP, uh, who's who's been in the hospital since Saturday with with this virus and has pneumonia. Um, so if it hasn't hit home um, for for you yet, um, I, I'm going to encourage you to brace yourself because because it's coming and and as it comes, we're we're doing this to just to help us to to be able to process it to be able to to go to the Lord with it. And uh, Psalm uh, 77, which is a Psalm of lament. I mean, just, uh, I'm gonna read it slow and and just listen to, to the way the Psalmist just comes honestly and brutally uh, before the, the Lord with, with his questions and, and, and just revealing uh, his heart to God. And as I read this, I'll, I'll just pause uh, intermittently and and continue to post. I think it's good for people just to see our hearts and it's just ministering to one another as we as we just name it and and and, and name what we feel uh, to to the Lord and to and to one another. Well, listen to these words from Psalm seventy-seven. I cry aloud to God, aloud to God, that he may hear me. In the day of my trouble, I seek the Lord. In the night, my hand is stretched out without wearying. My soul refuses to be comforted. I think of God and I moan. I meditate and my spirit faints. You keep my eyelids from closing. I am so troubled that I cannot speak. I consider the days of old and remember the years of long ago. I commune with my heart in the night. I meditate and search my spirit. Will the Lord spurn forever and never again be favorable? Has his steadfast love ceased forever? Are his promises at an end for all time? Has God forgotten to be gracious? Has he in anger shut up his compassion? And I say, it is my grief that the right hand of the Most High has changed.
I will call to mind the deeds of the Lord. I will remember the wonders of old. I will meditate on all your work and muse on your mighty deeds. There's always hope. Let's sing about that hope together.
we uh, turn our our hearts toward God, uh, allowing the the honesty and and just being authentic before God about the the cares and the hurt and the questions that are going on inside and and we allow those to to turn us to God in in prayer and we are not only going to be praying uh, for ourselves we're going to be praying for uh, for the people that we know who who are suffering um, who are struggling who are lonely, who are depressed, who are serving us selflessly, and not just uh, people in our community, uh, in our nation, but but people all around the world, people that don't have good health care, people who have governments that that are corrupt. We're going to turn our hearts towards God in prayer. And as we pray, we'll will remember who God is. He's a way maker, a miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. So let's let's pray this, this prayer of intercession. The scripture tells us that creation groans with labor pains, waiting for healing and redemption. And the spirit groans alongside us. We do not know how to pray. There are not words to express all that we feel. And yet we hold on to the promise that God is with us. And we bring all that we are and the people that we love before God. Let us pray. Loving God, we gather in worship, offering our praise, yet also acknowledging there is pain in our midst. In whatever situation we find ourselves, you graciously welcome us into your presence. Held in your spirit, we can sing. We can also admit that it is not always easy to sing these words. And there are times when we cannot sing them. While we yearn to trust in your promise, we have experienced the reality of lies, deceit, dishonesty. Some of us have been left wounded by the words and actions of others, so much so that our voices fall silent. For those who cannot join in the song today, We sing on their behalf. Sometimes all we can do is cling desperately to these words as life around us changes. We pray for those among us who are in transition those who are mourning losses, those who are sick, and those experiencing the turbulence of the seasons of life. Tonight, our hearts are heavy with the pain for people who are afraid. We weep with those who are sick, and we weep with the world. confused we are angry we are sad we do not know how to pray and so we bring our sisters and brothers to you may our community be a place of safety for them and for all seeking refuge may we find comfort and rest in your word
strings, when praise resounds from our lips, when pain silences our souls, in all moments in between, your love endures and sustains. Give us the faith, the trust in your love, and hope in your word that all will be well. We have an opportunity to, to pray uh, for, for one another. Uh, specifically, uh, we can post uh, in our live stream uh, prayers uh, for people, or perhaps you just put their first name or, or, or situations, whatever is, is burdening your, your heart. Uh, I would invite you to uh, to put it there, and as as and as we look at those things together, uh, we can pray for one another and uh, accept this gracious invitation that that God gives us to to come uh, before Him as as His people and, and to to lift up our cares and our anxieties uh, upon Him because he says that he cares for us. And we come uh, through Jesus. We, we come because he is our great high priest, the one who is able uh, to sympathize with us in our weakness because he was uh, a man. He walked this earth. He experienced the, the fallenness uh, of this world. So we have one who is able to sympathize with us in our weakness and invites us to come and to call out to him, to call out to him in our lament, to call, to call out to him uh, the burdens of our hearts. And, and he invites us to not only to call about, upon him, but to call out in faith that he will help, that he will provide, that he will give strength, that he may even bring healing, bring a solution to things like viruses. Psalm 88 invites us to come and to cry out day and night, before the Lord. It says this, O oh Lord, God of my salvation, I cry out day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my cry, for my soul is full of troubles, and my life draws near to Sheol, or the grave. I am counted among those who go down to the pit, I am a man who has no strength, like one set loose among the dead, like the slain that lie in the grave, like those whom you remember no more, for they are cut off from your hands. You have put me in the depths of the pit, in the regions dark and deep. Your wrath lies heavy upon me, and you overwhelm me with all your waves. You have caused my companions to shun me. You have made me a horror to them. I am shut in so that I cannot escape. My eye grows dim through sorrow. Every day I call upon you, O Lord. I spread out my hands to you. Do you work wonders for the dead? Do the departed rise up to praise you? Is your steadfast love declared in the grave or your faithfulness to Adam? Are your wonders known in the darkness or your righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But I, O oh Lord, cry to you. In the morning my prayer comes before you. O oh Lord, why do you cast my soul away? Why do you hide your face from me? 
afflicted and close to death from my youth up, I suffer your terrors. I am helpless. Your wrath has swept over me. Your dreadful assaults destroy me. They surround me like a flood all day long. They close in on me together. You have caused my beloved and my friend to shun me. My companions have become darkness. There are people, perhaps you're, you're one of them, that, that feel alone right now, that, that feel desperate, that feel their need. Let's pray together. Let's pray for one another as we go ahead and include our prayer requests or our prayers in the comments. And let's spend our next moments in prayer. Father, my neighbor is, is laid off and not working. And he is going crazy being inside the house, not having anything to do. Lord, I pray for him and his family as they walk through this very challenging and lonely time. I pray for June, who is in the hospital. I pray that you would heal him in a miraculous way, that you would touch his body, make it whole, be with his family. Lord, we pray for loved ones who don't yet know Jesus as Savior and Lord. Lord, you know their names. Would you save them would you give them the gift of faith to believe and to see Jesus for who he is, the loving and compassionate Savior and Lord? Lord, we pray for those that are dying because of this virus. Be with their families. Lord, we thank you for the health care workers who are being so selfless, Please be with them. JP, we just pray for you, brother. I see that you're watching now. We pray for God to heal your broken body. We pray for God to be with your family, my friend. God, by your spirit, make it so. Lord, so many in our community are hurting. So many in our community are afraid. Lord, we cry out to you. We would beg you to meet them where they're at. We pray, Father, for your sovereign hand to orchestrate moments where your people are able to cross roads with those who are in fear. We beg you, Lord, to give us those opportunities to help us to walk in your spirit. Lord, I pray for Joe's mom who is having heart problems. Lord, please heal her. Please give her peace. Please give her good and proper medical care. Lord, we pray for our children who have just been disrupted in their lives, who are no longer able to see their friends face to face, 
who have transitioned from perhaps a classroom with, with teachers and other students to now being at home, doing online learning. Lord, please bless them in their work. Uh, please bless the parents, Lord, who are trying to navigate this change, who are trying to be an encouragement. Father, forgive us for when we fail, where we fail so often as we parent our children. And Lord, our children fail as well as they struggle with being selfish and a host of other things. Lord, we just pray that you would unite our families. At this time, Lord, you would use uh, to work for our good, which is your promise, that all things work together for the good of those that are called according to your word. Lord, help us to pick up the phone and contact people, Lord, who you lay on our hearts to let them know that they're loved and, and, and remembered and that they're important. Lord, we pray for our churches that you, Lord, would just raise up your people to love one another in such a way that the world sees and ask, why do they love one another so well? And they would find out, Lord, that's because you have loved us so well. Lord, so many things that we could bring before you. You know each and every pain of our hearts. You know what has brought us burden. You know every need, Father, so we turn to you in our lament, in our sadness, turning to you with the hope of the gospel, with the hope, Lord, that one day resurrection is coming, that one day, Jesus, you will break through this sky and you will come and redeem and restore and bring peace. Lord, we continue in our worship of you. Yeah. 
thank you so much for for joining us uh, tonight in this uh, service of lament and prayer and praise. Um, I'd invite you to click your share button if you haven't already to to share this with your friends. They they might find uh, this to be an encouragement uh, to them. And as we uh, conclude, of course, I'll. I'll offer a, a benediction or a blessing uh, to you. Um, I'm reminded since I've been thinking about uh, Pastor Tim uh, Russell, who I mentioned earlier, who who's recently passed away. He was a, a mentor and and friend of mine when I was in college, and he was our chaplain. We we would go to our student uh, worship service. And at the very end, um, he would go around to each and every single student. There's probably 60 or so of us there. And he would place his, his hand on our head. Social distancing just was not an issue at, at that time. And he, he would just physically touch us and, and pronounce a, a blessing uh, over us. And, and each week in our worship context, that the minister usually does raise his hand. And that was a tradition that started because there was too many people uh, that the, the pastor couldn't possibly go around and, and touch each one. But I'll raise my hand uh, tonight and, and it, is, it is on your, your, your head. And I'll pronounce this as we conclude uh, this time of worship and prayer. We know that always God goes with us through the presence of the Spirit and the presence of one another. So hear these words of, of blessing. May the grace of Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all now and forever. Amen.